Yeah, Noah Green's our first one coming up here. Transfer from Kansas to Texas, now at Duncanville. And we have him on the line, Will Grundy, our Texas webmaster, is out there in Duncanville right now, setting him up via Skype. So we're going to talk to Noah Green, hear where he's going to college. Will, Noah, how are you guys doing over there in Texas? All right, one sec here, still working on getting him on the call, but this is a big commitment here. He's one of the top guys in the country in the 110 hurdles, one of the, in Duncanville's a really strong program. He won New Balance Nationals last year, national champion, so this is a big commitment that we're getting from Noah Green. We're really excited to have him on the show, so we are going to throw to him in just a second here. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see what he does in Texas this year, especially in the hurdles. You know, we talked about this uh, a couple of weeks back about his transfer from Kansas where he dominated in the, 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 the 110s and the 300s, and now he's going to Texas where historically that state is just really good. He should have some really, really good competition too because they have DeSoto, Duncanville, um, a lot of those southern Dallas area, Fort Worth area high schools in their district which is the step before uh, area, then region, then state in Texas. And that district is just so solid, as everybody knows, DeSoto, right. uh, you know, big name after they won the 6A state title a couple of years ago. So we should see him yeah. really get challenged here. Um, and then some really good hurdles have come out of just that little bit of area in Dallas. Yeah. And as we get Noah on the line, it's signing day. You know, we have everything up here. The phones are open, the lines are open, emailed, social DMs, let us know, tag us on Twitter. We're going to keep you updated throughout the show with some of the biggest signings this morning as they come in. So make sure you're hitting us up constantly because we're staying dialed into everything that's going on. On top of the five athletes we're going to call in and talk to directly and live on the show here, we're keeping you up to date with some of the top ones who have already signed so far this morning. So we're going to make sure to have that lined up. Brian, for you, who's someone that you've seen already this morning that stood out? Uh, I already saw two that just kind of popped up on, on Twitter here. Uh, the Woodlands College Park, Zach Williams. He's going to Oklahoma University. Uh, and then another Texas, Live Oaks, Cecilia Holmes is going to Baylor University. So those are two just quick ones that I saw just skimming through Twitter. Um, you know, and, and they're continuing to come. I, all you have to do is search. It's pretty easy. Just looking through and, and finding these names, and I'm sure we'll see more big names. We saw one day. this morning, Masai Russell out of Bullet hey School mm -hmm. in Maryland. Yeah. We're ready for Noah Green. All right, here we go. Trent, our guy, is telling us that Noah Green is ready to go over here with the interview. Noah, out in Duncanville, how you doing? Good, how are you? We're doing well over here. So first, I mean, you made that transition from Kansas to Texas. How's the Texas lifestyle been treating you so far? Uh, it's great. You know, we used to live here before, so it's just kind of get, getting back in the swing of things. And briefly, looking back at last track season, things really picked up for you after you won nationals in the 110 hurdles. Did you really feel the recruiting pick up after that point? Uh, yes. Like, once I hit the time that I hit at New Balance Nationals, phone calls started coming in, texts, emails, really started taking off after that point. And for you, that's a lot to handle. You know, all of a sudden, all these coaches, everyone starts contacting you. What was some of the best advice you got to handle the recruiting process? Um, some of the best advice was just getting to meet the coaches. You know, um, I'm going to be spending the next four years with the coach I'm going to choose. And it's just like, if I didn't have a good connection with the coach, then I shouldn't just go to the school. Right. And so let's dive into it. What were the top schools that you were looking at on your list? Um, some of the top schools was, one, obviously a good hurdle coach because that's what I'm trying to go and do in the future. And a good team chemistry was another big component. And the last component was good academic centers and uh, facilities. For, uh, I'm trying to go into biochemistry for pre-med, so really big part too. That's awesome. So Noah, without further ado, where are you headed next year? I'm proud to announce that I'll be getting my academic and athletic career at oh. the University of Congrats. <laughs> oh, <Congrats. laughs> nice. Dude, that's awesome. Congrats, Noah. Thank you. So let's jump right into Kentucky then. What stood out about Kentucky when you talked to the coaches? Was it an official visit? What made that school stand out to you and why you're choosing to go there? Um, one of the biggest things was like, a home away from home like everybody that i talked to that has already done the process has told me that once you step on the campus you kind of know where you want to go 
and that was a big part in my decision of going to Kentucky. You know, I love the whole staff, the athletes, the coach, um, and then I got to meet some of the pros that actually trained there, and they just told me, like, hey, like, this is a really good place to be trying to be focused and continue your career on to the next level. Yeah, when you look at Kentucky and see the athletes they have there, when you talk to the coaches at what you can accomplish in college, do they also talk to you about how your track career could develop after college? And was that important to go to a program that could help potentially turn you towards a pro career? Yeah, it was actually a really big component in choosing Kentucky because uh, they have like five or six Olympians that are just hurdlers specifically that are trained there. So it's just like when I get to see them compete and I get to be at that level and practice is just a really big component of me choosing Kentucky. And we've seen some, obviously, Sydney McLaughlin's going to Kentucky and now she's going there and trying to figure out if she's going to become a 100 hurdler, 400 hurdler, 400 meter runner. When they, when you were talking to these coaches and looking at what your potential avenues are in college, are they looking at you potentially as staying just with the high hurdles or you might branch out, work on your range, maybe move up into the 400 hurdles as well? Yeah, when I was talking to Coach Flo, he was telling me that I don't have to be specific hurdles to continue my career. Like, we're going to try to experiment with the 400, 100, 200, and just try a whole different range of events instead of just staying with the uh, 110s and point hurdles like Sydney's kind of doing. Yeah, and for this year, you know, you're with Duncanville. Duncanville is one of the most well-known programs in Texas, really strong in both the sprints and hurdles. When you look at the outdoor season coming up, what are the events that you're going to be focusing on there? Uh, well, I'm going to be focusing on main events like one hurdles and 300, but I'm still going to be doing like um, multiple relays and then some meets I'll be doing the 200 and 100, uh, doing a little bit more of those this year too. When you look at the landscape in Texas, Duncanville is in one of the most competitive districts and regions in the entire state. How excited are you to get in on some of these 4x1 and 4x4 relays and get a feel for that Texas track atmosphere? I'm super excited because uh, – when I started taking off in my career, like this past summer, was when I got into competition. And just having that competition throughout the whole year at every beat is just going to be a great experience. And Noah, lastly, who are some people you want to thank who have helped get you to this point in your life and committing to Kentucky? Uh, I just want to thank all my supporters, uh, my family for always supporting me, all the coaches that I had because I kind of moved around a lot. And I want to give a special shout out to my dad who's been there throughout all the years, you know. He's always been there every meet to calm me down and keep keep me pushing forward. Awesome, Noah. How, uh, how about who do you have joining with you today? Let's give a shout out for your companion here on the Miles Live Show. Uh, shout out to all the Duncanville uh, family that's here out track and field. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, let's get him on camera. Let's go. Let's see the Duncanville track fam. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Shout out to Duncanville. Noah, shout out to you. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoy signing day. Thank you. Take care, man. All right. That's awesome. You know, that's really exciting. You like to see the vibe. That's why I love signing day. I think outside of the national championship, it's one, just one of the most fun days of the year. Everyone's pumped. Everyone's having fun. It's a lot of energy. Great to see Noah going to Kentucky. It's a phenomenal choice. I mean, he talked about all the pro connections there. And I think there's a clear path for him. You know, these athletes, a lot of looking at college. And we talked yesterday when we were looking at some recruiting things, how a lot of athletes, the reality is you're just not even going to score an NCAA championship. But for some guys like Noah, there's a very clear direction and also a post-collegiate career. So I think this is a great choice for him in picking Kentucky. Yeah, for sure. Like the immediacy of, of getting on the track right away, uh, like yep. you just said, is going to be something that Kentucky's really going to value as he heads into that um, collegiate career. But I like how schools set up signing day, too, sometimes. Not every <laughs> school does it the same. Obviously, right there in Duncanville, they have a little bit of a setup for Noah. And after our phone call with him, uh, they're going to do another you know, ceremony for him as he signs in front yep. of his school. So yep. that's going to be cool, too.